Hey y'all, so hey best friend, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. Um I know you guys wanna know, you know, my results from the 30 day water fruit and salad challenge. Well I'm gonna give it to you in this video. It's not gonna be like, you know, a separate video. I'm just gonna, you know, put it in this video. Right now, I'm on my way to Mason's speech therapy classes or whatever you want to call them. He has two of them today. He has two different ones going now. Um, so he has to go to one location at 12. He has another location at 1. They're only like 30 minutes a piece. So. Yeah. He has, a, he has a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So... Um, let's try and, okay, let's try and make a wrong turn. So I'm trying something new with my uh, YouTube. Hopefully, this will keep me somewhat consistent. And I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I just been out of it with YouTube because I'm more active on TikTok. When I mean I'm more active, I don't mean like I'm posting more on TikTok. I'm just like. A TikTok watcher. I watch TikTok way more than I do YouTube. And hold on. Okay, I'm trying to find somewhere to park. Because y'all know I'm driving this big old hit 250 and oh my goodness, hold on y'all. Alright. So we're here about 10 minutes before Mason goes in there, but hopefully I can hear my got the air on. Let me turn it down a little bit. But anyway, um I say I'm gonna try something different with my videos. I'm not gonna do too much editing. I'm gonna do like a pretty much like a raw video for the most part. Um, see how y'all like that. See how I like. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know the results for 30 day fruit water and salad challenge. I basically gained the weight back. So I was 199 when I started. I was 199 when I finished. Uh, Mason, hey, you a little loud. I'm not the way that he go in class because he's a little loud, honey. Say hello. Say hi. Like he got a maze on his ear. Um, I might have to wait. Let me wait. I'm just gonna get out the car. Okay, so the results of the challenge was, like I said, I pretty much gained the weight back. I was 199 when I started and I was 199 when I finished. Well, I was like 199 point something when I started. I can't even remember now. And I was actually like 199. But, um, it is what it is, y'all. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I failed the challenge, but I didn't at the same time because I did eat something besides, you know, fruit and salads. I, you know what I'm saying? But I feel different. Like my body is different. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like when I think of stuff that I used to eat, like fast food, you know, burgers, fries, and sugar. Like it makes my stomach hurt before I even, you know, if, before I even eat it. And then when I eat it, because today's like the 10th. This is Jonathan's birthday. Today's July 10th now. And I mean, I've been eating, I done ate fast food and had like drinks. Cause I'm selling lemonade right now. I start a new business selling lemonade, and I'll be wanting to test, you know, my product out before I sell it. So I have to test the lemonade. And I love lemonade, and you know, lemonade has sugar in it. Y'all, when I drink this, the lemonade, it makes my stomach hurt. Like it's crazy. Like that challenge has helped me a lot. It's a it's a great challenge for people that want to like a jump start on eating healthy a jump start on losing weight i feel like is perfect like if you happen to mess up and not just eat fruit and salad or you know you might have a coffee or a tea here and there i honestly feel like you're not failing as long as you keep going you know i don't feel like it's a fail because it'll still work on you like it's still a good stepping stone to losing weight and as y'all have seen like i think it was my first week yeah i had lost like three pounds so um yeah i ended up losing three pounds a little over three pounds but like i said maybe you know me messing up 
and not just sticking to it might have made me gain the weight back or whatever. I don't know what I weighed today. The last time I checked, like I said, I was 199. And that was um a little over a week ago because today's the 10th. Um so yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get back in there. So besides, you know, me updating you guys or giving y'all the results on that challenge. Um, like I said, I've been starting a new business I've started a new business I'm still in the process of getting like my equipment and stuff because I'm doing um I'm still lemonade classic and flavored lemonade this is freshly squeezed lemonade where did I get this idea from TikTok I know when most people think of quick Mason most people think of a lemonade stand they think hey. of like kids running in or whatever okay. Mason but um yeah when you think of a lemonade stand or selling lemonade you think of like kids selling lemonade but it's not for kids y'all it's for anybody I, like all the tiktok videos and a little bit of youtube videos i've seen on lemonade honey there's like elderly people selling lemonade like there's all different uh, age ranges selling lemonade and I already sold, let's see, my mama bought one, let's see, one, two, three. My mama, my brother, my uh, cousin, my aunt, and my other cousin. I sold five lemonades so far. That was just family members, and that is just straight out of the house. Like, because I'm planning on going to, um, like, flea markets and a farmer's market, like, you know, a tent set up or whatever. I got my tent. I got a couple things. I just don't have everything yet. Um, but it's called Sunny Shakers. A lot of people was like, where'd you, where'd you get the name from? Where? Where'd you get the name from? So if you know how to make lemonade, you will kind of know why. But anyway, I might do a video all on, you know, starting a lemonade business and all that, what you got to do. And it's, it's pretty simple, y'all. Yeah, but I live in a really small town, so I'm a little a little nervous about selling them. I think I'll do pretty good but my problem would be trying to find lemons in bulk around here because we don't have a Sam's Club, we don't have a Costco I don't even really know what a Costco I'm assuming Costco is kind of like a Sam's Club where they sell stuff in bulk we don't have a Sam's Club, we used to have a Sam's Club until they shut down for some odd reason so the closest Sam's, Sam's Club to, the closest Sam's Club to me is 45 minutes away so but the good I guess the good part about that is Three. it's not like you have to buy lemons the day of Three. you can buy them like a week in advance something like that Three. what is it Three. see I don't really like keeping my kids on my on my channel because I'm, I'm really really Three. thinking about taking all my pregnancy Three. videos off my channel I really am thinking about it. I don't know. Because this is kid TV. I mean, I know my kids is part of me, but I just want to be all about me. I don't want, I don't really want my kids out there. I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know. I'm, I'm in the process of thinking about it. But I, I had them pop in from here and there. Are you waving at her? She can't see you. These windows is tinted. Tinted. That's probably why y'all can see outside. Because normally when I'm in the car, like in my actual car, this is Jonathan's truth. I mean, if we was in my car, y'all couldn't even see the outside. It'd be so bright. But my win the windows is tinted, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm not going to be here too much longer. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and all that. I just, I really don't know what to do with YouTube. Like, I'm going to try these videos right now because I don't have, I don't never really have. Like video ideas. I have video ideas, but some of them don't interest me. Like, I want to do something. And these type of videos are probably boring too. Like, I don't know. And I'll be looking at hot news. Like, look at my hair. Look at my hair. I mean, I can't really see it right now, but. Twin. We're happy. Twin. Happy. Nobody. No. Huh, honey, he just. No. He is quick to call somebody a pig. A pig. Pig. 
Who you calling a peak? Peak. 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 You calling you two a peak? Peak. He's not a poly train. He's a pool. He hasn't been wearing a diaper. A pool. A peak. We're in the process of potty training. Peak. It's going to be a while. Peak. He'll probably end up starting. Kindergarten, not potty trained, but I'm pretty sure this time next year he will definitely be potty trained and talking. Yep. His birthday is in 20 days, July 30th. You ready? But I'm gonna go ahead and go because he's getting ready to go into his speech therapy. Y'all can even see that. But I'm not gonna edit this video. I'm just gonna straight up upload it right now. Huh. I don't even have uh, a upload schedule. I normally uh, upload my videos on Friday, uh, but I'ma just upload it as soon as it happens at this point. So hope you guys have a great week. You know, and I will talk to y'all for the next video. You say bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Wait. Wait. Bye. Wait. Let me see. Wait. Bye. Say bye. bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.